what this this uh, uh, Laud Marina d does, and I, I think it's just spectacular what she does, as as in the idea, she makes these pictures in which she so she goes as this sort of uh, as this beauty queen um, uh, um, huh? goes around, and then she sits on all these completely unlikely um, spaces. So this is one. Or this is a lake. This is a lake in that same area, which is completely contaminated. You know. And the other one is a call for her. This was a campaign that she did. It's from it's it's part, it's from 2012. This campaign, but then it was a big campaign. Is that the campaign is is to vote for that? that it's what what is called an open pit mine. No, to vote the open pit mine as a, a world um, a, a universal um, universal heritage. No, as something beautiful. It's of course ironic, but the point is well made. I think. Um, the the other thing where um, uh, activists are trying to use the idea of the spectacular in order to gain visibility in activism is in the Ni Una Menos movement, the movement against gendered violence in Latin America, which is a movement that emerged in between 2015 and 2016, where different Latin American feminist groups mobilize around particular case studies. How do you mobilize around a particular case studies? By making it a spectacle, by publicizing it. Now, nobody who gets beaten up or dragged through a hotel lobby would like to see that again and again on the screen, on the television, on national television. However, if the purpose of doing that means that you get hundreds of thousands of people mobilized to go on the streets, then you do that. And that is what happened, is that some women who had been terribly abused no justice, no accountability, no. Um, and in order to gain attention and to mobilize women, they made a campaign around their own abuse. And this is a Peruvian case that was videoed by the security camera in the hotel where she's being dragged by a boyfriend. And the guy was, the, the main scandal, apart from the violence itself, was that the guy is naked, which is why it's blurred out, very weird. So uh, he drags her while he's na naked over, over the hotel floor. And then he's captured, uh, she immediately goes to the police, he's captured by the police, and then she, he's released the next day because oh, it was a domestic dispute, wasn't it? No. And he didn't get a sentence. And then it appeared that the judge in question was actually a friend of the father of the young man, and the young man had co contacts, and etc., etc. All these kind of small corruption issues uh, slip in.